Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Welcome to Makeup Monday. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, I'm going to start out with this foundation. It's called Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in the color 502 Warm Caramel. Okay, and it's cheap. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it at Walmart for about 5 or 6 dollars. So I'm going to use this dry beauty blender. I don't wet them. Put a nice dollop. I think that's all I need. It's good coverage. You cover up all these freckles and moles and stuff acne and hyperpigmentation you name it and I got it yes I go over my eyebrows try to catch these raccoons under my eyes yeah, I got raccoons they used to call me raccoon in school because I had dark circles under my eyes. Still got them. But now I don't, sleep. I don't sleep. I don't know why I had them when I was young. So I wear foundation to even out my skin tone. I got all kind of colors going on in my face. So just to even it out. Hyperpigmentation on this side. Get the eyelids, the eyebrows, all this. Make sure ain't no makeup caked on the sides of my nose. Get these nose holes so I ain't looking like Puff the Dragon. Brown nose, but you see these nose holes, they are darker. Can't have that. Get the mouth. Lipstick stays on longer when you uh, put makeup. Well, at least when you put powder on your lips. I just put makeup on. Okay, everything looks even, except for right there. You'll see the makeup there. And I will be putting on a short curly headband wig. Okay, through with that. Okay, now I need something on these soup coolers. I use a um, lip balm before I put on lipstick. As I use it, I'm getting rid of it, so I don't forget I used it and use it again. Okay, let me put the top on here. I'm using this Ofra, what color is this? Uh, lip stain in the color Havana Nights. These people always calling. Spam, spammers, they always call it. I 
I didn't bring a paper towel in here. I need one. This is a lip stain. And this will still be on my mouth tonight. Try not to get it on my teeth. I'm going to put a red on top of this because I like bold red lips. Okay, I need some um, rosy cheeks. What is this? I got this in the Ipsy box. There's no name on it, but I'm going to use the rosy color. mirror so I ain't looking like a clown okay I'm gonna put powder on top of this to tone it down some okay but that's the way it looks for now it looks like it's too much which it is so I always tone it down uh what I need eyebrows This uh, Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It has a spoolie on one side and a pencil on the other side. So I can fill in my eyebrows. So I'm brushing up. They need to be done. Okay, now I use the pencil. The pencil part. Let me see. It's like a charcoal color. This came in the Ipsy bag too. I no longer get the Ipsy bag. But this is a good product. Fill in my brows. without making them too harsh. I don't like real dark brows. I mean, that's just me. Some people like them, but I don't like the marker look. It's too harsh for me. Of course, my eyebrows are different. Like folks say, they're sisters, not twins. Looking kind of sketchy. So I'm going to brush them again. blend this pencil it's gonna have to do I ain't trying out for no beauty contest okay what else I need so I shadow so I got three things sitting up here I got my taco palette by glam life I got on blue clothes, so I got green in it. So I may use some green. I got these colors. Let me use green. Okay. I like the. Okay, this is a, a makeup brush eraser. It's like a stiff sponge in here. You want to change colors on your brush? I like these kind of makeup brushes for my eyes like a point I like it so I'm just going to use the light green on my whole eyelid
that color. It's raining outside right now. I don't like driving in the rain. But I do it. Okay, I'm gonna put something, you know what? I'm gonna do the whole eyelid area and what's left on the brush. And I'm taking great pains to keep my mouth shut. Usually when people do their eyes, their mouth is open like, uh -uh, I refuse. It looks crazy. But it's a, uh, just a, a reaction. And everybody does it, except for me. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I need something dark. Um, I got purple, that's dark. And I got a brown. I'm going to walk on the wild side. I'm going to use a purple. In the corner, the outer V. Right here, just a little smokiness, and then like that to outline my eye. Yes, just like that. I'm going to blend it. Okay, clean this brush off. Now I'm going to blend it. Start with the light color under there. Then the lid. And then the crease. So I ain't looking crazy. Some of y'all say I already look crazy. Okay, a little smokiness. Now, I'm going to put on some liner. This is what I use for liner. I don't even know the name of it no more. It's worn off because I use this all the time. That's good. Leave it alone. 
has like a marker tip. And this, I like it a lot. I got some eyeliner. I'm going to do the bottom waterline. Just outside the waterline. Because I don't want my eyes watering. Just outside the waterline. Oh, and I'm using the sugar uh, cold eye pencil. It goes on nice and smooth. The green. Now I've got the purple and the blue. It don't go. It don't uh, work like this for some reason. Same company. Okay. My lashes look too light now. I'm gonna put on some powder. Put this under my eyes because I got dark circles. Oh, this is the Banana Deep Loose Powder. Shake some in the cap. We don't like using loose powder because it sifts. But it's needed. this on even though I didn't put on no concealer. And it'll be alright. Okay. Let me brush it. Kind of highlight my uh, under eye area some. Let me see how this looks. Okay, I look like folks. Remember, I'm going to put powder on my face and clean this brush off. So I'm going to pour this loose powder back in these holes. They're little bitty holes. And I'm shaking it all on the carpet. Well, my carpet is this color. Okay. Powder. That's all I brought in here today. You know what? I'm going to use this fluffy brush and use the soft focus finishing powder. It softens the whole look. Tones down all the bright red cheeks. Get under the eyes. Okay, that's good. What else I need? This up. Eyelashes. I'm up all through. I ain't got my red lipstick on. This is Fashion Fair Cat Fight. It's a red, red, which I love. I look crazy. 
What can I do? Leave it alone. Let it look crazy. Okay, I need some eyelashes. So I'm gonna put some lashes on, yeah. Okay, I'm wearing the Kalalis lash clusters, and I they looking crazy in here because I take them off and throw them back in here. So I reuse them. I'm gonna use the Lilac Street lash glue. Like that. And these are the tweezers I use. Is this, who is this? Lilac Street tweezers. So I'm cleaning this off with some alcohol. Get rid of all the sticky residue that's on here from when I used this before. Because I don't want the lashes to stick to the tweezers. I'm trying to put them on my eyes. Clean off the back of the tweezers also, because I use the back also. Okay, it's clean. This ain't. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pick up a lash cluster. Okay, I'm going to set it down. I'll put some glue. It looks like mascara. What is this? No, this ain't the uh, glue. No, it ain't. Okay, what do I do with the glue? These look alike. One is glue and one is for my eyebrows. This is for the eyebrows. This is the glue. It has a little skinny mascara one. So you put it on like mascara. On the un underside of the lashes. In the ends. So nothing actually touches the skin. Okay, get this lash at that. Put it under here. Put it underneath the lash and pressing it with the back of the tweezers. Okay, now I'm gonna get the next one. Put some more glue on. And these lashes are all mixed up, so I got all different styles in the same thing. So, makes a difference, don't it? I need one more. Like I said, nothing touches my skin at all. Okay. 
Okay, clean this off again. Let this sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to put the crystal, something called a crystal coat. Because of our uh, link, I can feel some stickiness. So this will stop the stickiness. It's clear. Up under here. Okay. These lashes on here. Look at that. All right. Do the other eye. Next time I buy some lashes, I just get the 10 inches, 10 millimeter. Oh, if they got eight millimeter, I'll get that. Cause I put them, I don't put them close to my eyelid. Uh, put some glue on this. And I start with the outer edge. And when you put them on, you want to hold the lashes like this. So this curved part goes towards your eye. See it's curved? You don't want to hold it backwards and put the lash on like that. No. It works better if the curved part is curved towards your eyelid. More glue. I mean, I could have just put this on all the lashes, but I'm making sure that's on there and it's going to stick before I go on to the next one. Okay, let me find another one. Pick it up with the tweezers. One more. Let's put three clusters on. Like I said, um, glue don't touch my eyelid. The lashes ain't touching my eyelid. So. I mean, if I don't rub my eyes, these uh, lashes are not irritating. The glue ain't irritating because it ain't touching my skin. Now this lash cluster is from another set. Because it looks different, it's okay. It's still cute. Because I take them off and I just throw them in the case. I got a lot of lash clusters. So this is about to shut off. I'll be back. Okay, it's about to shut off. Uh, oh, I need the crystal coat up underneath. So I don't know what's in this. It looked like oil to me, but it can't be because that would loosen the glue. Okay, I'm good. See, that made a difference, didn't it? Close this up. Put it back in the box. Close the glue up. Back 
I'm gonna put the tweezers in here with it. I'll clean it. I'll clean it when I get ready to use them again. And I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I got all kind of lashes. And this is what I can take the lashes off with. It's called Chow for now. Lash, Light of Lash Remover. So I got some dramatic lashes. But I don't really wear stuff like that. These are feather. I like the um, Kalilas, Kalilas lashes the best. And this is something I got a long time ago from AOA Studio. Never worn. But I will be wearing these. So, I need some hair, right? Then I'll be as cute as I can be. Wash that wig so it's still wet. Put on this headband. Got a wide headband. It's blue. It ain't matching nothing, but it's blue. I can wear the not to the front or the back. get makeup on it. I will be right back and get the wig. Okay. Here's the wig. It's a headband wig. Human hair. So put it on. My own hair is braided straight back. There's one braid and I got it tucked under. Okay. The same wig my daughter been wearing. And people think it's her hair because it looks just like her hair. I mean, my hair is not black, so it ain't going to look just like my hair. But that's okay. Where's the other comb? I'm trying to attach the comb. Don't feel the comb. There's one, there's one. Oh. Okay, here's the center comb. One, two. Okay, there's the center. So this is like a get ready with me video. Not just makeup Monday. I'm going to attach the headband. No, I am going to pull this wig down over this tucked under braid. And the hair is still wet. Let's cover up some of these silver edges. I refuse to call them gray. Okay, this is on. Attaching the Velcro headband. I put uh, bobby pins on all my half wigs and headband wigs. I'm going to fluff it up after I put the headband on. I 
this hit, man. Let's see, I want to put it that way. Cover up that black head, man. Let me see. I don't know. Make up on the headband, so I have to turn it. Still wet, so it'll fluff up when it dries. But I need some baby hair, but I'm cool. I'm cool. This is about what, six inches. So Back, so yeah, push it back. Well, that's it, y'all. I'm officially as cute as I can be today. So I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bye.